Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your midweek or the next 24 hours love and general opportunity tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. Thank you Scorpio for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Um, I so, so, so love you and thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen and if you would like to further connect with me and um, get to know me, I invite you to check out the website. I will be uploading a channeled message um, in the website. I will put the link down in the description box below. So if you're interested to pick up more intuitive message, I suggest that you go to the description box and hit the uh, copy paste the link to your browser. Okay. Also Scorpio, I've got another account. You know that I'm a Scorpio and there is a lot of Scorpio energy in me, in my vein, in my blood. So I've got another exclusive Scorpio channel. The name of the channel is Scorpio Morning Star. So please, if you're interested to follow me there as well, go to that channel. I also upload a regular weekly message, okay? Weekly, um, weekly video, weekly tarot reading video. And also Scorpio, if you are following me in an Instagram account, please make sure that you're following the correct, authentic Instagram account because there is a scammer, okay? There is a poster that is lurking around and adding randomly anybody in IG and offering a private reading. That's not me, okay? You know I don't do that. I'm so busy. I have three channels going on, almost 300,000 subscribers to be going around and direct messaging people and offering private reading. I am not that. So please be smart. Okay. So Scorpio, oh, you've got an ace of cups. Wow. <laughs> what's happening, Scorpio? Someone is in love with you. Okay. Scorpio, what's the message for you? What is the midweek or next 24 hours? Love general opportunity tarot reading session for scorpio friends out there let's start your reading okay you've got a two of pentacles in upright position you've got the nine of wands the king of wands in reverse scorpio don't forget to check the description box below um if you are interested to pick up more there is a daily 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 channeled message that i will be introducing it's gonna be in the website and you'll you're you will be the first sign that i will use the new card, okay, the new deck that I've just received two days ago and I finalized cleaning it up, um, cleansing it, you know, I'm cleaning, cleansing it and um, it's ready for use and I'm so excited to use this, okay? So go to the description box below. So Scorpio, let's start your reading. I'm so hyperactive today and um, only for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's start your reading. Two of Pentacles in upright position, Nine of Wands, the King of Wands. Okay. Someone is hesitant to approach you, okay? They want to approach you, but they're hesitant, okay? King of Wands is the outcome, the advice. Um, if you're waiting for someone to approach you, it is a female, it could be a male that is older than you. For some of you, it could be a female that is your same age. They're quite reluctant to invite you to approach you. Okay, they feel like they're intimidated of you, Scorpio. Three of Wands, yes. So they will be in a waiting game. We're dealing with a person who's scared, who's intimidated. And um, if you approach them, then they will say yes, they will flirt, they will pay attention, they will reply right away. But they're not persuasive because they're intimidated okay they're i don't know if you argue with this person or you had some um disconnection or a fallout but they're quite shy they're shy they're intimidated they're quite insecure but they want to interact with you desperately but they don't have the courage to do it okay one more um if within two weeks if within two weeks you do not chase, you do not follow up, they'll eventually um, find the courage to speak up, you know, to speak up and face you. But if you would like to speed the process, they're waiting for you, Scorpio. You know, they would immediately, within two, three seconds, they will 
um, reply, respond. Okay? The second reading, Scorpio, is Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords. Um, I really feel like, Scorpio, you stop doing something that you really, really like. Okay? I want you to... I want you to look into the past days or weeks or months, but you gave up something that you really like doing and the universe is telling you to go back. It could be, you know, nine of cups, this is complacency. It could be you are not getting a lot of sun. You are not walking or jogging or I really feel like this is vitality because um, nine of cups is eating, drinking and just sitting around. So if you are forgetting to walk, to jog, to do some physical activity, my Scorpio, my sexy Scorpio, please do it. Because um, Eight of Swords, you'll get fat and then you don't feel very, um, what do you call that? Physical. <laughs> no, it's more of, you'll be more alive, more energy if you have an exercise, if you have meditation, if you spend time to yourself. Don't be lazy, <laughs> in short. You sexy Scorpio, you don't get lazy, okay? Don't get lazy. Move, move, move. Do something physical, you know? Um, Six of Swords, the divine is telling you, hey, Scorpio, don't forget to enjoy life. And also don't forget to take care of yourself physically. You're mysterious and sexy, but you need to keep up, to keep up physically. There's something about physical in here. Drinking a lot of water, or for some of you, avoid alcohol. Give give your your time a break give give the vino the wine the red wine break scorpio i've been doing a lot of red wine <laughs> i've been i've been i've been liking the the toro season because it's so relaxed so i've been complacent too so it's time to six of swords come back and don't even hesitate to go physical to do some move to do some groove okay keep moving scorpio and then the third reading is about the Four of Swords, the Emperor card, the Temperance card. Okay, there's some sort of competition. I feel like this is work-related, Four of Swords. I think you've been complacent about work, um, Four of Swords. There's a person, there's a boss. There is a very high-ranking personality. It could be a client. Um, it is an emperor. Okay, this is work. This is related to work, business, um, law. It could be related as well to a family member. But um, you're being watched for of swords. So for some of you, they are observing you, how you are, your workmanship, your creativity, your business. They're looking into partnership with you. They're looking into um, helping you expand uh, they're very interested with your creativity, with your talent, with your business, with your personality, okay? It's a person. It could be at work. I'm really feeling like it could be at work. For some of you, it could be a relative. It could be a business proposition for some of you. But it's something great. Like you're not aware that someone is observing you and appreciating your talent, what you do. They're admiring you. You've got an admirer. And temperance card... Um, they'll come around. You will eventually find out who this person is. I feel like if this is a boss, a manager, it is their secretary or their assistant that will call you or text you. Okay, You will find in time who is your admirer. It could also be a lover. It could be a lover and it will be your friend or your common friend that will advise you or that will tell you that someone is admire, admiring you from a distance, okay? Um, they don't want to be obvious, okay? This person is not going to show their emotion or their interest. It's it's not going to be up front. It's going to be via another person that you'll find out that they're interested to do business with you or they're interested to date you for some of you because I'm getting a romantic situation right now. But someone is interested with you, Scorpio. Okay? So please move that sexy, sexy back. Because you'll get a date with someone who is like an emperor. A boss, a manager, a business owner. Someone who is not your match. Like someone who's serious and sexy. And you're in here. 
the Scorpio that I'm getting is a sexy and funny and adventurous, okay? So this is exciting. The more I dive into the energy, the more it gets exciting. I feel like this is predictive. I feel like you've been bored in your life, like bored in the last two months or last three weeks, four weeks. Um, this person will shake up your life. This person will sprinkle spiciness or sprinkle sexiness in your daily activity. Something exciting is going your way, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is your reading. This is your midweek reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Please do not engage with that Instagram scammer who keeps adding people around and keeps messaging people around. That's not me. So be very smart. And also check out the description box below. I will put the link in the description box below on how, how to access the channel message. So if you would like to pick up more intuitive message, the link is down in the description box below. I keep repeating myself. I see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.